Okay, so let's take a look here at this talocrural joint. That's where the talus is going to meet the cruce, which of course is going to be the anterior part of the leg. And that would include the distal region of the tibia and the distal region of the fibula. Notice that we have the medial malleolus on the tibia and the lateral malleolus on the fibula. The tarsal bones are these bones here. And so the two large ones, uh, the first one that is articulating directly, if you will, with the tibia and fibula, uh, is referred to as the talus. The term talus means ankle. Of course, your true angles are the malleoli. This big one is the calcaneus, which means heel, and indeed it is your heel bone. And then this joint cross here is, refers to, is referred to as the transverse tarsal joint. Now, the joint up front goes up to here. This is referred to as the tarsal metatarsal joint. Okay? And let's take a look at some of the tarsals that are associated with that, at least in the proximal region. This is the navicular bone, and the navicular bone is supporting three little bones. This is the median cuneiform, or medial cuneiform. This is the intermediate cuneiform, and this is the lateral cuneiform. Now this is almost counterintuitive, but you remember that we're looking at this as if this were an anatomical position. So if we were to take a look at this as being lateral and lateral, this would be medial. But that's not the way we want to view this. We want to look at the big toe as being medial, the little toe as being lateral. And therefore we have the medial cuneiform, the intermediate cuneiform, and the lateral cuneiform. Right next to the cuneiforms articulating directly with the calcaneus is the cuboid bone. Now you can appreciate that the cuboid essentially gives framework for these two metatarsals, metatarsals five and four, and then the cuneiforms have three, two, and one respectively. Of course these are the digits, right? And we can explain that these are also referred to as the phalanges, these individual bones. So there's a, there is a proximal phalanx and a distal phalanx on the big toe, but a proximal a middle and a distal phalanx on all the other toes. 